In this Throne and Liberty video, I just want to drop a little knowledge in regards to the best way of leveling up those weapons and armor in this game. This is something I know most players new to this game are not aware of, and well, could be very costly because these simple mistakes will see you indeed falling behind in regards to progress and leveling those weapons and armors up. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. Now the winner of my previous Lucent giveaway you can see on screen. Now if this is you hit me up on my Discord link down below. Now if you guys do want to win 1000 plus Lucent, well it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Throne and Liberty videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners from the comments section and announce them in a couple of days. So good luck everybody. So leveling up weapons and armor in this game is quite a simple process when you know what you are doing. But there's a massive, massive mistake I see players making, which in reality is actually slowing down their progress and making the grind, the farm for materials, used for weapon and armor leveling much more of a workload. So as you play this game, you will feel like materials are being thrown at you in regards to materials used to level up those armors and those weapons. These consist of grill stones. Yes, at first, as you progress the game, you do come across these in quite an abundance, I'm not going to lie to you. But in reality also, at the same time, you burn through them. And when it comes to having multiple different armors because you want those different setups, there's even more of a strain on your acquired materials. So the major mistake I'm seeing players make is either not transferring their gear or not doing this right. So transferring in Throne and Liberty is a feature which basically allows you to somewhat infuse, a term used in other games. But yeah, infuse armor into another piece. It's something the game kind of tells you about real early on, but it's knowledge easily forgotten because there's so much going on early game which you need to learn and pick up on. This for me at least didn't seem that important at the time so I actually forgot about it until I researched more into it and wow guys it's one of the most important things in regards to leveling up in this game because what it allows you to do is it transfers all XP and levels you've used in one piece of gear and upgrade them into another into a higher piece which helps progress massively. It also saves you those vital materials i.e grow stones. So this is what you should and need to be doing to make the most out of this and not wasting your materials and halting progress and making the grind even longer for you. So as you progress this game you will eventually come to having that green armor. Green armor is the start for players where the system and feature becomes available i.e transferring. So within your menu head to that equipment enchanting screen. Here guys you first want to work towards leveling up and maxing out all your green armor and weapons. Everything here you can level up you want to max out. Now the max level on a green is a level 6. This is that limit for weapons and armor. Now this will require quite a few growth stones for sure but at the end of the day you are rewarded them as you play the game. But it is also a material if used willy nilly here and there on different pieces that you probably don't need you can run out of pretty quick too. So yeah, don't be wasting these guys. I mean I'll be real with you guys here, at this level at this kind of progression I'd stick to one set of green armour. It means nothing in reality for your progress to have multiple green armours straight off the bat. I mean it's at end game it's something you can go back to and use it to help you in regards to that end game gear which I'll explain in a second but as you're leveling up those are early levels guys and progressing towards end game I'd stick to one set of green armor for sure and then guys use the growth stones that you have in leveling up that gear those weapons and armor six is like I said max level for that green rarity of armor and weapons now guys as you play and progress further you'll now start unlocking blue rarity armor and weapons. This is where the system I am explaining today becomes very very important because as you start getting that blue armor you'll also start seeing those blue rarity growth stones drop too. Here guys do not use those blue quality growth stones on those blue armor and weapons until you have done this. This is where we take advantage of the transfer feature in this game. 
So within this tab guys, you can now infuse your max leveled green gear into the blue armor and weapons. Obviously it needs to be the same sort of piece, so helmet in helmet, chest piece in chest piece, gauntlets in gauntlets, bow and arrow into a bow and arrow, daggers into daggers, rings into rings, etc, etc. So yes, you need to infuse the same piece into a higher rarity piece of the same item type. So yes, within this transfer tab, you can now infuse your max level green gear into that blue gear, or when you eventually get that blue gear. So what this does is it transfers all the XP within those green gear pieces straight into those blue gear pieces, those blue weapons and armors. And if your greens are maxed out guys, if they are a level 6, it will instantly give you 3 levels in that blue gear before you've even spent any of those blue rarity growth stones. You already have 3 levels in your blue gear if this is the way you do this. Now if you don't have 6 levels in that green gear before you infuse it into the blue gear pieces, I mean levels drastically drop. So you definitely want to be making sure you max out those green gear pieces before you infuse them into that blue rarity gear. It's as simple as that. This is also a great way to make use of your green quality grow stones to help progress your blue rarity weapons and armors because there will become a time and a stage where you are kitted out with those blue armors or even purple rarity armors and these lower rarity growth stones you may feel are now useless when indeed they ain't as they all are building blocks to maximize your gear levels. This transfer feature also works the same with blue rarity gear going into that purple rarity gear and so forth. Your blue gear will level up to a level 9 I believe and when you transfer this into that purple rarity gear, the purple rarity gear is instantly receiving 6 levels right off the bat before you've spent any of those purple rarity grow stones. So yes guys you definitely need to be taking advantage of this to help with your progression saving you those vital materials for end game now it's a system i know many players already know about but i also know many many new players that are not aware of the advantage of such a system um, and how it can help you and save you in regards to farming growth stones for that rare and more powerful gear it's a system which allows you to use up resources you may have thought would become useless to actually help you towards that end game progression. So yes guys, take advantage of the transferring system, make sure you level up your armors before you use that transfer system too because it just helps progress in the long run. And there we have it guys, a simple mistake I'm seeing many many players do and I hope this helps you out. If it does, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more of Thrawn and Liberty, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.